Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulls are really hitting their strides. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Also known simply as the Queen City, where we're ready to bring you one tremendous college football game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 47. Washington picks him up six yards with a catch. That'll make it second and four. Raw gets a carry left side. Nice run to the outside. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. First and ten. Ball on the 42. Come on, come on. Tackle at the 42-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. taken down right around the 28 yard line good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz that gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game we've got a first and ten ball on the 28 yard line Quick strike to the receiver. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Touchdown, Florida 
State. job is some tough running right there when you get close to the end zone things get very tight and it's tough to maneuver he makes the PAT an eight play 74 yard drive and they come away with seven points Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense Jenkins has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. Green's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good and playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Pass complete and taken down immediately. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 25. Gives it off. He's tackled at the 25. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Brought down at the 36. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Zips it to the back, and he's tackled around the 40-yard line. Four yards on that play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Third down again. Around the 48 yard line. Seven yard line. It's second down. And they got him for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. This is the ninth play of this drive. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Five wide. And he's hit immediately. Buffalo's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. Stop behind the line. 
this is one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. Here's the 11th play of the drive. There are flags all over the place. Here's the call from the head referee. Encroachment, Encroachment defense. defense. Concentration laps right Still there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 35-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Fourth, and eight. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The battle for bragging rights of the Red River, Oklahoma and Texas. And for Oklahoma, let's keep an eye on this game where a major surprise could be brewing. Texans on top, 14-7. 7-3 in this one. Smith gets set to kick this one away. Coley fields it at the one. He's tackled at the 33. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Florida State holds a four-point lead. Inside handoff. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. Steps up. They'll bring him down at the 31. The offense couldn't get anything going that time. No, they couldn't. They really looked out of sync there, and they're going to have to make some adjustments to come back next time out. Room around the corner, and they push him out at the 38. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That makes it second and six. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-3, FSU. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Gains his way to midfield. From the 50. First down. And he almost has the INT. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that.
fights forward to about the 49. That's a game of one on the play. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Right, right, right. Down, down. Down. And he's level at the 43-yard line. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Three down, three down. 90 is a mic. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. And this play is number eight on the drive. throws in a hurry well that's a great job here by the defense to knock that football away and set up a fourth down Watson is hoping to boom this one down the field this one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20 There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Florida State is up by four. They'll knock him down for a loss. From their own 17-yard line, second down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Throws it into coverage and it's intercepted. The 10. Nice move and he scores. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Smith ready to kick. And he'll return this one from the seven. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Makes it to the 37. difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. 
And down he goes, around the 47-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Slings it. Tackle at the 40-yard line. Reception. Gain of seven yards. First down. From the 40-yard line. First down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 21. Gain of 19 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and ten. All on the 21. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. This is the eighth play of this drive. After positive yardage. That's a game of four on the That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Touchdown, Seminoles. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's take a look at what's going on in the top 25. And for Alabama, they love to unleash their running attack. A nifty zip into the end zone for the score. Locked up at 7. We're at 14 to 10 in this one, Reese. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Anderson's he really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's taken down around the 25-yard line. Around the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Brown gets six yards on the carry. That'll bring up third and four. Quick throw. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Arnold picks him up about three yards with the catch. Florida State's going to take their first time out of the half. Coley is the deep man awaiting the return. <laughs> the 
They'll bring him down at the 39. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Going right, intercepted. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. He goes out of bounds at the 23. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of six on the play. That makes it third and 14. So that sack leaves them with some work to do. It's third down and 14. Out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at about the 19 yard line. Jackson's in the tackle at the 19 yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's check in on a pair of top 25 teams. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Texas A&M, they hope to continue their winning ways. Texas A&M leads it 14-7. Well, we've seen some big upsets, and that one would measure right up with the best of them. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Marquardt fields it at the three, looking for the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 38-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida State is up one. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 46. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. The Seminoles are going to call their second timeout. Got it to the senior. He's at the 30. He's tackled around the 16-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. We've played a half. The Seminoles in front, 17-13. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. 
and we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen on the big 60 inch. Yes, it's quite nice by the way too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Caught out of the open. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds around the 27-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. No good down the play. the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Watson to punt. He gets it away and this is a really nice punt. And he's tackled at the 28. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Get him, get him, get him. Florida State holds a four-point lead. Handoff up the middle. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 28. Bring him down at the 44-yard line. That's good for a game. First down. Strike complete, and he's down. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 49. He throws left. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 31. Rose and it's knocked away. That makes it second and ten. 
Florida State is up four. Now he's scrambling. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Looking for his man, incomplete. Boy, that was a rocket. If the receiver didn't come down with it, quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Jenkins has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Anderson's got the first of what should be many tackles to come. He's a heck of a player, really explosive and quick, a sure tackler, as you can see on that one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's to the 40, and they make the stop at the 42. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. From their own 24-yard line, first down. senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 24-yard line. That'll make it fourth and 14. Coley, awaiting the return. Coley fields it at the 34. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Buffalo's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Florida State is up seven. Run up the middle. Six yards there on the counter. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle at about the 37 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. 
That's a gain of six on the play. First down. He's hit and taken down. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Florida State is up by a touchdown. They'll drop in for a loss. From the 14-yard line, it's third down. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Florida State is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. The Seminoles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. That's a great tackle. The 27-yard line. Second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 27. Tackle made at the 29. Brown picks up two yards with a carry. That'll make it. Three down and one to go. Florida State's got a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Impressive game there by the do-it-all back. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. on the play. Oh, 
Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Watson is waiting for the snap. Foley takes it to 21, and now the ball is loose. And the offense will recover. The Seminoles have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners, everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's good to be five yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Three down, three down. 90 is the mic. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's taken down right around the 12-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Makes it to the 12-yard line. From the 12 yard line, it's second down. He's tackled right around the four yard line. That's a game that made him play. That'll bring up third and two. Cavalry's coming. He gets rid of this one. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Rose, complete touchdown. to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, top 25 action on the way. This one's been entertaining us all day long. The Crimson Tides have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. And for Butler, he's got more than 150 yards passing. The Crimson Tide on top, 21-17. Early moments of the fourth quarter. Field goal difference in this one reached 23-20. Buffalo is lining up to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Florida State has a three-point lead. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Gain of one yard. First down. They'll get him for a loss. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at 
after positive yardage. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it third and nine. Anderson is the deep man awaiting the return. It's away and it's a booming punt. Tackle at the 30 yard line. The Bulls have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Yeah, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From their own 33-yard line, second down, less than three minutes in the game. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. From the intended receiver on the play. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Fires that quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Fields brings him down to the 30-yard line. Fourth down. Watson is the punter. Coley takes it at the 33. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Buffalo's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 49-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Buffalo will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Just under two to go in the game. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. The Bulls, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And down he goes at about the 27-yard line. First down. Run and he's brought down. Good for a game of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's level at the 22.
And so that's going to do it. The Seminoles take this game 23 20. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.